I'm definitely excited. I want to start off by saying my name is Mike Abramowitz. I'm the proud district manager and executive of Vector Marketing here in Pinellas County, Florida. And uh, I want to uh, really begin by welcoming you to our team and welcoming you to a training. I'm definitely excited to get to know you a little bit and, and uh, just get a chance to see how well uh, you do with this position because I know uh, we, we would not have accepted you for the position if we didn't think you could do well here. And I know when I got accepted and uh, brought onto the team, I was a little bit nervous and I was really excited at the same time. And I was, uh, I was 18 years old when I started my training seminar as uh, I just finished my freshman year at the University of South Florida. And uh, I was really excited. At, at the same time, I was nervous, but uh, I knew the possibilities that were ahead of me. So just remember, I sat in the same chairs you're sitting in right here uh, and uh, starting training as a new representative. And I promise that as training progresses, um, you will start learning a lot. You're going to really join a great team and uh, you will feel confident as, the, as you finish up the training process. And again, I want to congratulate you on being accepted. Uh, we have a ton of people applying for the position at, during this time of year as we obviously surge into the summer work wave where everyone is actively pursuing summer work. And uh, you were brought onto this team because we thought you were confident. We thought you would follow the program we would teach you. And we know we can help you be successful. So <clears throat> you'll notice that as you start working with us, there's not specific types of people, but specific things within people that we look for. And uh, that's why you were accepted is uh, we feel that the right person uh, it could do a better job working here. Uh, then uh, certain then you, there's always a quote you know we're a hard work beats talent when talent doesn't work hard so we're not looking for talent we're just looking for someone that could work hard and I want to go through uh, just some expectations and what you could expect from us and then we'll go through what we could expect from you the first thing that you could expect from us is uh, a 100% commitment to your success <clears throat> so if you're gonna be taking some notes and I encourage you to do so I encourage you to write that down 100% commitment to your success. See, when I started in satin training 10 years ago, 10 years ago, June of 2004 is when I started, my manager was completely committed to my success, so we will do the same thing for you. In order for our team to hit our goals, we need our representatives to hit their goals. See, we will win as a team, and we'll commit to something that's never been done before. We're looking to have the best year ever in Pinellas County history. In 2013, we broke the territory record. In 2012, we broke the territory record. So we've reset the record in 2013. Our goal this year is to have the territory record in the first eight months. So we're looking to have the best year ever in eight months. And we feel like with the right people, we can do it. And uh, with the right team. And that's why you're, uh, you're, you were brought on as a new recruit. And uh, we're excited about that. So I want to tell you, we have a strong support system for you. We have a couple of different things. Number one is we're going to have a daily coaching call. So every day that you work, you'll have a coaching call with someone who's experienced, uh, someone who's doing what you're doing and has already mastered the representative position. We're going to have morning workshops. So once you graduate high school, every morning at the office at 8 a.m., we'll have a workshop that you can attend to help you get better at the position. <clears throat> Excuse me and hone in on some of your skills. Every week, we're gonna have a team meeting where the whole team from all of Pinellas County uh, will join uh, together. It's kind of like if LeBron James and Michael Jordan caught together at one location and uh, just got a chance to uh, share their ideas and share their secret tips and you're new to basketball and you got a chance to learn from one of the best. We're gonna give coaching sessions one-on-one. -on -one like tutor sessions if you need those we have office hours where you'll be able to set up an appointment to meet with the manager for that uh, we also have phone jams at the office where representatives will attend uh, typically two times a week just to help them feel comfortable making their phone calls and booking up their appointments we have online webinars uh, where representatives can uh, watch and download videos from vectorconnect.com and nfldivision.com just to help you really um, do well working at your own pace. So there's so many opportunities for you to get training and lessons and, and uh, guidance. So we, will, we are 100% uh, committed to your success. So simply put, your success is our success. So we're not going to teach you things that don't work. Number two that you can expect from us is a strong work ethic. 
In other words, we're going to work harder than you for your success. We are in this together. And I want to help you understand that this job is not easy. It does require hard work. See, a lot of representatives are new when they're in training. See, but we're not. As managers, like I said, I've been doing this for 10 years. I've trained over 4,000 people on how to work with the company. So I take full responsibility for anything that happens in my organization. And I'm confident that if I could train over over 4,000 people in our office, and if I could take these lessons and teach in the high schools, I've influenced now over 5,000 students voluntarily on my own time uh, just to teach them these same, same tools that we teach here at Vector uh, here uh, over in the high schools. And you can feel free to check those out on my YouTube channel if you like. I'm confident if someone just follows what we teach them, they will do well working with us. And a lot of your friends that you might know work with, have worked with us in the past or currently work with us on our team and they're kicking tail. So I'm confident that as long as someone does, as long as someone follows what we teach them, they will do well, just like in school. You follow what the teacher tells you, you do, you follow the assignments, you do your homework, you study for the test, you'll do well. If someone does not follow that, I'm not going to be able to apologize for their poor results if they don't try hard and follow the program. Just like you don't feel bad for the student in class that doesn't show up, that doesn't do their homework, that doesn't study, and then they don't get a good, a good grade. So understand that just like school, just like a sport, just like learning an instrument, you can't do it real fast. It's not like a get rich quick type of thing. Our reps do work hard. Now is every day going to be perfect? Of course not. There's going to be different types of days. There's going to be days where you have unbelievable results like incredible results results where you get so excited about your opportunity you love everything then there might be the next day you get uh you have a day where you have four or five or six appointments set up for the day and uh most of them have to reschedule or what or or maybe maybe they don't purchase and by the way that's not really even that big of a deal you just make more phone calls and book up more appointments no big deal but most of the time in most of our representatives they just have you know, they set up their days, they work, if they're just seven days in a week, they'll work four, maybe three or four of the days, they'll do their 10 appointments, and then they'll have three or four days off. And on those 10 appointments, they'll have six people purchase with an average order of 250 and have $1,500 in orders that week. They'll get in the newsletter, they'll have average results. But being average here, they'll make above average income. And that's what we want. I want to let you know that no one is at a disadvantage here. No matter who you are, where you live, your background, the school you attended, your GPA, one thing that you have to understand, the only thing that makes a difference working with us is the expectation. If you think you can, you think you can't, either way you're going to be right. So we're going to work very hard for your success. We want you to do the same thing. And finally, you could expect from us is 100% honesty. It is the foundation of any relationship. We're going to be great coaches for you. But that doesn't mean easy and nice coaches. See, I don't know if you ever had a teacher or a coach or a parent, if you've ever seen these uh, individuals that allow their children or allow this, uh, their players to get away with things all the time, and then they just took advantage of them, right? Well, I know I had my freshman baseball coach, or, or, or basketball coach rather, when we cut a corner, he didn't address it. Well, when I got to varsity, shoot, if we cut a corner, we're on the line running. He did not let us cut corners, and uh, that's why I respect that coach a lot more than my freshman basketball coach. So my objective is to make sure that, that you treat us as coaches, as mentors, as managers, not bosses. I'm not your boss. Your boss makes you do things you don't want to do. I'm here to encourage you and inspire you and motivate you to do the things that you, I know your potential offers you uh, and I know what you can do. So think about in the long term, what you really want, if you're hard on yourself, I promise you, I promise you it's going to be in your best interest. Uh, so uh, there's always a saying, if you're hard on yourself, then life will be easy on you. But if you're easy on yourself, then life will be hard on you. So I have representatives like, for example, uh, Ray Reed. Ray Reed went out and he only had uh, his first weekend was only able to complete three appointments and no one purchased from him. And he got down. He's an athlete, baseball player. Uh, well, if he would have given up and, and, and was easy on himself, uh, you know, he would never got better. But, but if you come to the office in the training room, we have a giant trophy here, Ray, Ray Reed's name on it. Silver Cup champion, national champion. This guy is now over $600,000 in Cutco orders, was one of the top performers in the company. And after having a bad weekend, made 43 orders in a row. Uh, this is one of the best people in our business. 
You know, I think about Doris Kopik, first weekend, she was only able to do three appointments. She was working on high school. Uh, she had one order for one piece. Uh, IB student, St. Pete High, uh, you know, she was a very sharp person, uh, very intelligent, and uh, she goes to USF. But what's crazy is she didn't let that affect her. She just went out and uh, got more training, got more help, uh, hit her first promotion in her first 10 days, got promoted to a key staff, then got promoted to be an intern with the office, got promoted to be assistant manager, ran her own branch office in Sebring, Florida. And uh, now she's 21 years old. She's already run a business. She's studying business over at USF. Her resume is stacked. So I just take a lot of pride in the success of my people and the success that they have working with us. And that success is not by chance, it's by choice. And uh, I, we all have well-defined standards and you should expect and want uh, me and our staff to challenge you to be your best at all times. And uh, I should mention, you're part of a great team. Uh, like I mentioned, we're a record-breaking organization. And the only way we can hit our goals is by helping people hit their goals. And uh, just to remind you of what our goals are, we want to have the biggest year ever in eight months. That has never been done. Think about putting it out on the resume. Being a part of a record-breaking organization, something that has never been done before. And we feel that with your uh, leadership and with your attitude that you can really help us do something that's never happened in Pinellas County uh, ever in, in the history of our company. So uh, we're excited about your success. I hope this sounds fair on what you could expect from us. Now, you know what you could expect from us. Let me go through what we can expect from you. Well, first... Uh, I view these as more as like keys to success. The first is we could we want to expect you to do your best at all times just to get the most out of Vector financially and also in the regards of experience. So the first is we expect you to be your best. Just do your best. Be responsible. Be reliable. Do what you say you're going to do. None of that. My dog ate my homework. And I have a lot of representatives that are that are in high school that I've worked with in the past, and there's like this disease that goes around, and it's called, uh, what, oh, senioritis, yeah, that disease right there, and they, 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 they allow that to affect them, their work in school, but I'm a firm believer that how you do one thing is how you do everything, and what happens is these people, they think it's okay to slack in one thing, and then they, they slack in other parts of their life, well, I encourage you, highly encourage you, and what I expect of you is to not allow that to happen. I know there's that, that saying going around called YOLO, you only live once. Well, the fact of the matter is, if you're going to only live once, you might as well make it a great, a great one. You might, might as well live to your full potential. You might as well impact as many people as possible, develop as many relationships as possible, hit as many goals as possible, earn as much as possible, not just go fly by the you know, the seam of your pants and just see what happens and, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll play it by ear. I would rather you plan for your success and reap the rewards of what your potential is off, uh, is offer, uh, offers you. So uh, the next key to success for you is get involved. Take a lot of notes because it's going to improve the quality of uh, the seminar uh, and, and how much you learn and absorb. See, what you put in is what you get out. Our top representatives are the ones that take the most notes. Number three key to success is a positive attitude. Please just leave your problems at the door. I can assure you, no one's going to run off with them, all right? So just keep that in the back of your mind. Don't be that person that just is always whining and complaining. I don't know if you guys ever have that friend that's always uh, whining and complaining. Not every day is going to be perfect. There's no doubt about it. You'll have some bad days. You'll have some great days. Uh, they'll have some okay days. But as long as you follow the program and you continue working with us and set up a lot of appointments, you're going to do great. And we all have standards in life. One of the standards we have is a positive attitude. To always look on the price, the bright side. To know that, you know what, it's only going to get better from here. A mistake is a way, another way of doing things. It's a lesson learned. That's all it is. And uh, this is one of the reasons uh, why I would not ask someone to ever continue working with us is if I don't like their attitude. If I don't like them after working with them for a day, then I just ask them not to come back. I look at training as a continuation of the initial interview. That's why we will give you, let you borrow a sample kit at the end of training. No charges, no deposits, $400 in products for free. It gives me these next couple of days to get to know someone and how they really are. I don't know if you ever went on a first date with someone. You're like, wow, this person's great. And then the next time they're like a lunatic. They're like crazy. 
That's what happens sometimes. I expect to work with the same person we offered the job position to initially. So don't worry your position's safe. I don't want you to be concerned with your position. I just want you to understand that we take your success extremely seriously and we don't let one rotten apple spoil the bunch. Uh, but at the same time, I didn't accept you into the training and the manager ran your interview didn't accept you into the training to later ask you to leave uh, un unless we thought you were the Dr. Heck, uh, Ms. Dr. Heck, what is it, Mr. Yeah, you go, you, uh, I messed that one up. But anyway, uh, if you have split personality, so don't do that. All right. Uh, so be committed. That's my next key to success. Be committed. I know that when someone works hard, they'll benefit immediately after their initial training this weekend. So just commit to yourselves. Uh, a, a person achieving their first promotion right out of training is very common. You probably saw in the interview, uh, an average order is 250 Four orders is $1,000. So that's four average orders. Uh, remember, if a representative goes out and does work and they do seven, eight, or 10 appointments right out of training, based on averages, they'll hit their first promotion right out the gates. Uh, I know I just finished up a training this last weekend, and we had two individuals right out of training their first day. Uh, just on their first day, they hit their first promotions right out the gates. So I do want to let you understand that it happens all the time. Now, uh, in the same breath, sometimes we have representatives that don't hit their promotions right out the gates. So we give them more training. We're in this together. This is not. Uh, this isn't something that I'm paid hourly to do. I'm not paid salary here. I don't get paid to run these training. I get compensated on how well I train my representatives uh, based on their success. So how well do you think I want you to do? I want you to do well. I want you to understand. I take great pride in my training. I don't get bonus checks if I do bad at the job. So the more you put in, the more you get out. The more I put in, the more you, more I get out. So no one's looking for a slow start. I know we're all looking to have fast starts here. So uh, that's why I'm going to give you some assignments during your first 10 days and your first weekend especially. And I just want you to expect, I just want to really expect you to fully work on those assignments and get the most out of the program. And most of you probably already worked on some of the assignments. How many of you guys already started thinking of people that you might want to do appointments with uh, this first weekend, right? Well, that's a simple assignment. One of the assignments I'm going to have you guys do today or after your first day of training is to start writing, thinking of those people and then putting them down on paper and just trying to find phone numbers for them so it's an organized list. So that way, taking it from up here and putting it on paper or putting it into a spreadsheet and just getting things organized. So have confident. I, I would say have confident in a couple of things. Number one, is have confident in yourself uh, regardless of your past experience because your past doesn't equal your future. Who you are today is a result of who you were. But who you're going to be at the end of the summertime is a result of what you're doing today and all the decisions you make now. So uh, have confidence in yourself. Have confidence in the program. We've been virtually doing the same thing for over 65 years now. Why do you think we've been doing it for so long? Is because it works. You know, if the job didn't work, do you think a lot of our representatives would recommend all their friends to the, to the team here? Of course not. The past history speaks for itself. We have over 17 million customers. You know, you have to understand... We're, we're, we, we have those 17 million customers have generate a quarter billion dollars in sales each year. That, I mean, we have so many customers, but the fact of the matter is 17 million people, well, there's 300, uh, we, we have uh, uh, a large population, 300 million people here in the country. So we got a large population here. There's a lot of people for us to do appointments with in the virtual demo. We want to catch up with them as many people as possible. Also, have confidence in the product. When I was a rep, I never heard a cuckoo in my life when I started training. But what's crazy is, as I did my appointments, I started bumping into so many people who own Cutco. And uh, what's crazy is, the more more times I did appointments, the more times I saw people own Cutco. I have testimonial after testimonial after testimonial of people who own the product line. We've I've used Cutco so many Cutco times in my life when I didn't realize it. I never went over to my friend's house to and go I look at their mom's minute, knife drawer. I went so over to my friend's house to play video games for them two. with them. I didn't the look at their knives. <laughs> so some of our best customers are those, are those that already own Cutco. And I'm proud to say that my friends, my family who own the product line now, uh, I'm confident <laughs> that they Hollacher. enjoy the I've product line over the last 10 years, years. Um, because and, uh, of the decision the they made on my appointment. I, I know I some of them were like, oh, I'll just buy it just to help you out. But the money I made on those sales, that's long gone. I spent that on Taco Bell that summer. 
But they still own those knives 10 years later. Knives that are if I didn't really, believe in the product um, line, there's no way I would let my parents and, and my, my great, siblings and my really sister and my brothers and my friends' parents have. buy it if I didn't think they would use it. You know, I know I, I specifically had people at the time tell me I'm not going to get anything. And I said, hey, I get paid just to do this. I don't mind. I'm just going to have fun and show it to you. And then I get to the appointments. They say, I'm not getting anything. I'm like, hey, that's totally cool. I'm, I, it didn't affect me because I was paid regardless. But what's crazy is after seeing the products, they always love them. And then they decide for themselves on whether or not they want to get it. And what's crazy is at the end of majority of the time when those people said they're not going to get anything, those are some of my best customers. Those are the same people that go to the mall and they say, I'm not getting anything. And then they walk around the mall and then they end up getting some stuff. So I wouldn't let that comment bother you. I'd never let a comment bother me. And the reason why is because I knew I was paid anyway. I just wanted to go have fun, play with the knives, cut rope, cut leather, chop up pennies, and, and just help people see the value in the product line. And what's crazy is a lot of those people, they still, they call me back after, uh, after years and years and years, and they continue to purchase Cutco for me, even after they say that. Don't take my word for it. When I let you borrow some samples uh, after training, we'll, when we check them out to you at the last day, use them. Cut some stuff at home. You know, you'll get a little table knife. Bring it out to dinner with you. Use the product. You will see what we're talking about. It is awesome. And as long as you feel confident in the product line, as long as you don't try to reinvent the wheel, uh, it, it just as long as you don't just do, as long as you go through the same training that everybody else has gone through and do what we teach you to do. You can do this as well. Selling Cutco is a piece of cake. It's simple, but it's not easy. Our representatives do work. However, it's a lot of fun. Just cut rope, cut leather, cut pennies, smile, tell jokes, have fun, and you'll kick tail working with us as well. My sixth key to success is be willing to help others. See, what happens is a lot of our representatives emerge as leaders very early on in their career. And we have no problem promoting them if they have natural tendencies as a leader. So we're going to practice the presentation during training. And some people practice and do better than others. So we want to create a supportive environment so that way anybody that doesn't pick it up as fast as others, they're ready to go. Like when I did the practice, shoot, I felt like I forgot how to read. I never did theater. I'm an engineering student. I had my, I had my bachelor's of science in industrial engineering and a minor in leadership studies from USF. And when I started practicing training, I thought I forgot to read. It was like the first time I drove a stick shift. Stall, stall. Uh, and I share this with you because I think it's important uh, for you to keep that in mind that some people learn a little bit differently. So if you learn a little bit slower than others, then hey, no sweat. But if you learn faster than, faster than others, then support the ones that are learning a little slower. My final key to success for you is honesty. 100% communication and honesty with us. Uh, nothing less is expected on our team. This is important. For example, who keeps track of our hours? Who keeps track of your hours? We trust you. You keep track of your hours. So when you complete 20 appointments in a week, should you write down that you completed 22? Of course, we consistently spot check this, but and that's why we never have a problem because we have the right people working with us. So ladies and gentlemen watching this, I have two goals for you while working with us. Uh, my first goal is really to help you make a lot of money. I want you to have financial success. I want you to look back on this summer as the summer of your dreams, the, the summer that transitioned you from a high school graduate to, to a college kid, the summer that bridged the gap from you living under your parents' roof to being your own independent person, the summer that allowed you to be the person that you ought to be, to be able to transition into growing up and really paying your own bills and supporting yourself. And this is one of those times of most people's lives where it's that scary transition they go out into the real world. They're not really sure what to expect. But what's great is you're going to be partnering up with other people that have already done that. All of our college kids have already gone through what you're going through right now. So I can't wait to partner you up with them. I can't wait to coach, have you coach with them. You're going to love it. And at, not, at the same time, we want you to make a lot of money in the process. Compensation is straightforward. You remember from the interview, you're paid $14.50 for every appointment you complete, whether or not they purchase. So as long as you do the presentation, you're paid $14.50. Ten appointments in a week, you made $145. Now, you also remember there's the commission scale. The incentive, what that means, excuse me, is that we start you at 10%. Once you get to 1,000, 
you make 15%. Once you get to 3,000, you make 20%, 6,000, 25%, and 10,000, 30%. And this is cumulative career sales. So once you hit a level, you never go backwards, you only move forwards from there. And obviously we want you to make a lot of money working with us. We want you to hit some of those goals. And our job is not to have you just get rich quick. It does take work like anything else, but some of your goals may be to hit your first promotion by the time you get to advanced training on, on Sunday evening. Uh, you know, Some of you guys might be uh, uh, in position where you can earn a lot more than some of your friends will earn. You could earn that this weekend. You know, some of you guys can position yourself to have your entire first year of college paid for by the end of the summertime. And some of you guys will earn more than others. I just had two representatives. I told you they'd finished their training. Uh, one that graduated Osceola High School, one that is uh, still a senior in uh, Pinellas Park High School. Both of them made over $100 to $150 their first weekend on the job. And uh, that's pretty exciting. I know I have representatives like Doris Kopik who didn't. She only made like 40 bucks her first weekend. But you know what? Now she's at over 40000 in sales. She's one of my top performers. Then again, I have representatives like Mike Nisbet. You know, his first paycheck was over $400. I have representatives like Brad Helmus. His first paycheck was uh, was uh, approximately $175 for a weekend out. I have representatives like Gady Yeomans who made over $900 in his first weekend on the job. And that's my personal best as a coach. Uh, you know, but most of my representatives, my goal is to get them to make anywhere between a hundred to hundred and fifty dollars their first weekend out the first three days and if we could help you have that type of success um, and then position you to make anywhere between two to three hundred dollars your first week on the job I think you're gonna position yourself to have a great opportunity and that's what we're gonna train you how to do this so uh, we have your training on Thursday Friday Saturday you go out you'll do some appointments uh, with friends and family you'll come back here on uh, on Sunday uh, afternoon for your advanced training or uh, whatever training time that we tell you, uh, but more than likely it's going to probably be 3:30 on Sunday, so that way we could recap and give you some more training without having you miss any school. We'll do it on Sunday evening. My second, my second objective for you and key to success is experience. I want you to have the meaningful sales and business and communications experience that Cutco Working with Cutco gives you. If you check out any of my YouTube videos, you'll see on the channel. Building resume workshops, interview skills, confidence, time management. These are essential skills that you will learn working with us. I have to tell you, the, 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 the opportunity to advance within the company is amazing. When I started, I had a fro two weeks before I came in for the interview. I actually had a cornrows two weeks before I came in for the interview. So I was not, I was not uh, uh, wearing a shirt and tie and a professional. I really lacked a lot of those skills. See, management's not open to any of you right now, but if you do the right things, it could be in your future. And now I've trained over 4,000 people. Most of my friends, I'm 28 years old. They haven't had a chance to impact that many people up until this point in their life, and they may never. To, to, to make an impact and influence so many people because of my life experiences, oh my gosh, it's a blessing to me every single day. So if you don't go into management, if you don't advance with us, just know that you're going to position yourself to at least know how to sell yourself, whether it's in a job interview or whether it's in a, um, any future endeavor or if you have to make that sell to your future spouse in the future. Uh, whatever it is, you're going to learn how to sell yourself. So look forward to that. Leadership is definitely available to you here. And uh, there are so many people going to college these days and they think a college degree guarantees, a people, guarantees them a job. But I'll tell you, I have friends that are graduated college and they're on their fourth or even their fifth job since they've graduated college now. And I don't know if any of you know someone who's graduated college and they're still struggling to find a job, like a real job, a career job. And it's, it's unfortunate. The reason why is because they lacked this one thing and that's real world experience. And I think this is one of the most underrated and underlooked um, necessities in the real world nowadays and the reason why is because most of your parents they feel that graduating college will guarantee a job because that's how it used to be you graduate college you get a degree and you get a good job that's not the case nowadays I have my degree but the reason why I had great job offers out of college was because of my experience these degree these days degrees don't cut it experience the ability to sell themselves having numbers on the resume so many people say, I'm a people person. I like working with people. Uh, you know, but here's the deal. 
they're, these employers, they have thousands of resumes sitting on their desk. They're looking for something more. They're looking for something more than just someone saying, I'm a people person, I have a degree. They're looking for numbers. I share this with you because I, I know for a fact that teaching interview skills in the classroom, when someone has quantitative numbers, quantitative, not just qualities, for example, we have representatives that put on their resume. Let me explain this. I generated 100 customers from scratch through self-generated appointments, all through word of mouth advertising that generated $20,000 in company product sales, which allowed me to get promoted five times in my first summer, which allowed me to earn enough income to pay my own way through college. Now, obviously, do I have to convince that person I'm a people person? Well, no, because they just say, wow, this person generated 100 customers all through word of mouth. That means they all of his customers must have loved him or all of her customers must have loved her. Wow, she must be really impressive. But all you have to do if you really think about it, 10 appointments a week for 10 weeks, if you just do that, you'll sell about $20,000 in orders. That's your resume and you'll make $5,000 in income. $5,000, that is crazy. Now, I want you to understand that there are companies that you might see out there where sales is a bad thing. And I'll tell you, sales has a bad rap because there are bad salespeople. They are rude, they are pushy, they try to push their product line. It's just like education. Are there bad teachers? Of course. Are there bad mechanics? Of course. Are there bad doctors? Of course. Just like there are bad salespeople out there. They manipulate, they try to get people just to do things just because it's their own personal gain. But I'll tell you right now that sales is the second highest paid profession according to Success Magazine. Number one is entertainment and athletics, and I can't dunk from the foul line yet, so therefore, I didn't go that direction. But I will tell you that students selling Cutco, it's one of the top paying jobs that are out there. Purdue University, Illinois State, North Carolina State, LSU, Boston College, Michigan State, these are all colleges that selling Cutco is a part of a 400 level marketing class because of the quality and the experience our students gain. In fact, if you check out our website, um, vectormarketing.com, you'll be able to check out the Wall Street Journal, Young Entrepreneurs and Professionalism on that is developed through the Cutco Vector Training Program. That's why I'm so confident that Selling Cutco will open doors for you in your future. So just don't close those doors. A lot of successful people have gained work experience working with Cutco, um, th such as uh, Dr. Norman Vincent Peale, the author of The Power of Positive Thinking, Norman Brinker, the owner of Cozumel's, Chili's, On the Border, Macaroni Grill. He put himself through college at San Diego State University by selling Cutco. John Berghoff, he's the CFO for Vitamix Blenders. He was a Hall of Fame representative, sold $750,000 worth of Cutco. Hal Elrod, best-selling author for Taking Life Head On and The Miracle Morning. He also is a Hall of Fame representative and manager with Cutco. So the reason why I explain this to you is just to help you understand that we have a lot of success out there, and there's a lot of a lot of uh, a lot of opportunity for you to gain that success success working with us too. So I'm excited to help you develop that experience to 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 effectively communicate using your nonverbal communication, so using your verbal communication, as well as really understanding uh, the words that are meant to be said. Because I don't know if you know the statistics, but 55, 38, 7. 55% of your communication is body language, 38% is the voice inflection, and 7% of the words you use. That means 93% of what you're saying is not what you're saying. Mind-blowing. So we want to help you really maximize that nonverbal communication working with us and learning how to sell yourself. Uh, and uh, that's, that's, why, um, that's why we have training for you. Uh, and I, I kind of briefly told you about my story, but when I started back in June of 2004, I was just looking for a summer job. My dad told me to work with him doing plumbing in his own plumbing business. I don't want to do labor work that summer. I, I really, I wanted something to put on my resume. A little bit about me before working with Vector, going into my freshman year of high school, I was 250 pounds. I had pimples, freckles, glasses, break it, braces. I was the awkward kid in the back of the classroom. I, uh, I was positioned myself to um, lack a lot of confidence working uh, with um Going through college, going through high school, lacked a tremendous amount of confidence. I tried to out for the basketball team, started losing weight, 
gain some confidence as the youngest of eight. I grew up uh, kind of in the shadows of my older brothers and sisters and uh, just learning from a lot of their mistakes. I got into University of South Florida because of my academic scholarship money that um, I, and my academics, they gave me scholarship money to go to USF. So I moved out of New Jersey just to go there. I will tell you, it's one of the best decisions I ever made in my life. It was hard. I worked around school. I was broke. I had the embarrassing phone calls home to my parents and asking them to, for help. Uh, you know, I couldn't pay my way through school, so I had to move back up to New Jersey for the summer. And that's when I got the letter in the mail from Vector. And I'm so grateful I did. I drove 45 minutes out to the interview, saw the rope, saw the leather, saw the penny, get cut, and I was fired up. I was excited about Cutco. And I was thinking, man, they're going to pay me 15 bucks just to do these appointments. I needed three grand to get back into college. So all I said, if I just did 200 appointments, heck, I'm going to school. I'm doing it myself. Even though my parents would have done it for me, I wanted to do it myself. I wanted to claim my independence and do it on my own. So here's the deal. I did it. I did it. I started driving home and I started thinking, how can I make, how can I get 200 people? I was like, man, I'm on National Honor Society. In NHS, I had like 400 kids that were on that with me. I was on five different basketball teams growing up. Three different tennis teams. All my coaches, all my brothers and sisters, their friends and their friends' parents. My mom and dad's coworkers, uh, different people from the neighborhood. I just had all these people. And I was thinking, man, if I just had 200 of them sit down with me, I'm back into school, even if none of them bought a knife. But what's awesome is, I know when I got home and I told my parents about the job and I was fired up, uh, they didn't think I could do this because I lacked the confidence. They were projecting who I was to who they thought I was going to continue to be. And I knew that this was my opportunity to be the professional Mike, the business Mike, the one that, uh, the Mike that I wanted to become, the one with experience, the one that was going to pay his way through school. And I said, this is going to be my vehicle. And I'm going to go ahead and go for it. And I told my parents, just give me a chance to go for it. Let me try it out. I have no risk. I mean, they're going to pay me anyway. They're going to give me the training and they're going to let me borrow the knives. What do I have to lose? If anything, I'll learn a bunch of new cool things that I didn't know before. So I showed up to training. I had my dad's tie on. I went through the process. I learned as much as I possibly can. I took a lot of notes. I used a lot of a lot of knives. I learned a lot about knives, more than I ever knew before. And I went through the process. I, I The first assignment my manager gave me was to go home and write down as many names and numbers as I possibly can. We're talking 10 years ago. 10 years ago, my best friend had a beeper. I had dial-up internet. I, we had AOL Instant Messenger. Man, if I had Facebook and text message back then, my life would be easy. But I just had to go with the flow and do what they uh, do what I had available. So I went through my parents' address book with them and I uh, called up my siblings and asked them for help. I went on AOL Instant Messenger, went through my yearbook, it says KIT, keep in touch, went through that. So I called up and uh, you know got a lot of these phone numbers from my friends to their parents and I did what I needed to do. So I did it. I came up with like 70 families, phone numbers and went into my second day of training. Uh, I, I was excited. I was nervous. I was ready to go. I learned everything I needed to learn. When it came time to making the phone calls and calling people, I just called the least scary people first. My parents, my friends' parents, my my, my aunts and uncles, like all those people, my, my brothers and sisters that were older. Uh, so that's what I did. And it was really, it was a piece of cake. And all that nervousness that I built up, it reminded me of the first time I went on my first roller coaster. I got to the front of the line after waiting in line so long. I finally got there. I started having cold feet. But then I realized that getting on that roller coaster was not as not that big of a deal. It really wasn't that scary. Same thing with making the calls and booking up appointments. It's very, uh, very, very natural. Uh, it's very simple. It's kind of like calling to ask to borrow a stick of butter or or uh, a cup of sugar. It's like, hey, I just got this new job, and as part of the training, I need to do appointments. I'm doing it for training, so you don't have to get anything. I get paid just to show it to you. I need to do my goal, uh, which is 10 appointments by Tuesday. So can I stop by and do an appointment with you and your husband a day at a time, or would time be better for you? Real simple. That's it. And of course, we're going to teach you how to effectively do that. And what happens is sometimes what I, we have representatives, I know when I was new, I had a lot of my friends and a lot of people saying, oh, you sounds like you're going to be a telemarketer or, oh, you're going to be going door to door or, oh, it sounds like it's a scam or something like that. You're going to be selling knives. I'll tell you what, you know, the job is the job is not for everyone. There's no doubt about it. But I will tell you that most people 
they 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 do well working with us if they do well at other things in their life. See, we have representatives that that will um, hear this like these types of things, uh, but they're also the ones that uh, don't do well in school. They're the ones like if you ever go if you ever uh, went to take college courses, you'll see that the first day of class has a different group of people than the last day of class. Or on the bat on the sports team, I had one of the guys on the poor sports team. He tried out. He went through he went through the practice. He went through the tryouts. Everything, and then he quit the team. It's like what the heck? Why would you try out if you wanted if you were going to quit anyway? That didn't make any sense. So, I'm not going to go through and explain to you that everyone does well here. But I will tell you that the people that do well here do well because they follow the program. The ones that don't do well here are the ones that didn't follow the program. So when I went through training, I said, heck, I'm going to follow the program. I'm going to do everything my manager tells me to do. So that way I, I have the results. And if I don't have the results, then I'll just say it was his fault. It was their fault. I put my success 100% solely in the hands of my manager and my coaches. And that's why I'm still here to tell the tale. So I did everything my manager told me to do. I went out. I did my appointments. I, it was it was so much fun, and I cut rope and cut food and told stories and had a great time. And my first paycheck for my first weekend, I completed 10 out of the 12 appointments I set up. Five people decided to purchase. I was way below average. Some of my best people, uh, some of my top people are way better than I was. And um, my manager told me I made 150 bucks my first weekend. I said, that's awesome. He said, how much are you used to making? I said, I was making 200 bucks every two weeks at my work-study job. He's like, well... How much is your biggest paycheck you ever made? I was like, this. He said, well, you that was a weekend. Imagine what you could do in a full week. So I said, whoa, a whole week. He said, how many appointments do you have set up ahead of you? I was like, none. He said, so what do you want to do? I was like, let me make some phone calls. Let me book up some appointments. I'm ready to go. And that's exactly what I did. I booked up my appointments for that week, and I made over a $400 paycheck. And it was awesome. And I, I never looked back ever since. And uh, a lot of my skeptic turned into supporters once they saw the presentation, once they saw how amazing the company was and how awesome the product was. So uh, I will tell you, you're going to have all different types of experiences. And uh, just remember, we've been doing this for a really long time. I went on that summer. I made enough money to go back into school. My biggest paycheck that summer was $986. And I made a copy of it and put it on my refrigerator like it was a report card. And uh, it was awesome because a lot of um, a lot of that confidence that I lacked before working with Vector, I found during that summertime. So it started not even becoming about the money. It started becoming about who I was being uh, becoming in the process of making the money. And that's more valuable, and that became more valuable to me than anything else. And that's why I went into management. That's why I went into leadership. And that's why I continue to do what I do. As I volunteer in the community, uh, I have over 130 volunteer hours logged in the last 12 months. Uh, I love what I do. I love the people I get a chance to work with. I paid my whole way through college. I graduated with my engineering degree. Uh, I ran two branch offices as a college kid. Uh, between my, four, my, my uh, junior and senior year of college, I went to Naples. And between my fourth and fifth year of college, I went to Miami running two college student offices. By the time I graduated college, I had three houses that I owned and rented out. I uh, was able to fund my education, Dean's List GPA, um, while volunteering on the committee for Relay for Life. And I was working two other jobs at one point just to establish my residency in Florida. And I did it all. And I did it all as a college kid. I share this with you because you're getting coached and mentored by someone who has the experience and has the knowledge and uh, and has the capacity to teach you how to do the exact same thing. So welcome to the team. Get ready to learn a ton. I want to go ahead and recap the interview with you real quick uh, just to remind you of some things. So first, as you know, we sell Cuckoo direct to customers because it saves the consumer about 10 to 40 percent over what they buy in stores. Uh, understand that the, our representatives are knowledgeable They're to be able to answer any questions a customer might have. The customer gets hands-on use before buying it, uh, so and it's more convenient. They don't have to leave their home, especially with the virtual demo. It's just a click, a click of a couple of uh, buttons. Bottom line, we sell more by doing going direct, and that's why we do. We have our representatives set up their own appointments, and the reason why is because it gives allows the representative uh, to have a, a more one-on-one -on -one contact with their client, 
It allows them to have the flexibility of schedule. So that way our representatives can set up their own appointments around their, their schedule. So if you're in high school, you're typically going to work evenings and weekends. Uh, a college kid might uh, do their appointments during the morning so they could go out during the night or do their appointments in the evening so you go to the beach during the day. So you'll be able to do that as well uh, once you graduate. We love the flexibility. If you ever had another job where you want to work more hours but they wouldn't give it to you or work less hours but they wouldn't give it to you, welcome to Vector. You never have to worry about that again. You want more money? Make more phone calls, book up more appointments. You need time off? Do your appointments before and after the time off. It's awesome. Obviously, we start you with friends and family and people you see first. Remember, it's going to be more relaxed. It's easier to learn. Uh, friends and relatives are going to give you honest feedback. It's going to build your confidence and also it's going to allow you to start your referral base. You know, my friends and family, they knew a lot of people that I did not know. So they introduced me to the people I knew, and I got a lot of phone numbers from them uh, to people I already knew and met. But then they also introduced me to a lot of people I did not know. And it just snowballed very, very, very quickly. So I encourage you guys just to be on time, be properly dressed, be a professional, uh, you know, just have positive expectations going through this. And my tip would be if, 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 you just go through this with the attitude that you're going to be here for a long time, that you're going to be able to fund your education, you're going to have the best summer of your life, you, you're going to hit your first promotion, your first weekend, you're going to, you're going to hit a, a maximum, maximum opportunity uh, when it comes time to when you graduate high school and you have the leg up amongst all of your friends. In order for this to really take place, I just ask you, just don't go through the motions. You know, really just give it your best. Just really take a lot of notes. And, and just, uh, just, just really get prepared for what is going to be an unbelievable next few days and an awesome opportunity for you moving forward. So again, my name is Mike Abramowitz. I'm the proud district executive and manager for Pinellas County, Florida. And I can't wait to have you in our training seminar and have you join the rest of the team. So bring your notes in with you. So I know you watch this. You can feel free to check out any of the other uh, videos on vectormarketing.com. You could click ready for training. You could go to our North Florida division website, which is the division of vector marketing at nfldivision.com and check out some of those uh, videos. Dr. Phil, Modern Marvels, Made in America, How It's Made, uh, that's all online there as well. If you want to get any of my, um, on my YouTube channel, there's a couple extra videos there. Uh, get a chance to see a little bit of my, my training style and uh, I'm really excited to have you on the team. So I will look forward to seeing you soon. Have, uh, have a great day and enjoy class.